Welcome to the fascinating world of random. Today we're gonna to be trying out, we're opening up some brand new earplugs I got and they are going to be awesome. But first, I'm gonna stick a nine volt battery on my tongue. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> I bought some new earplugs and I wanted, I just got them. They are from another country. And I, I'm only doing this because Todd wanted to see these because they cost $60. $60? 60 for $60. a pair of earplugs. $60, $60 earplugs. But I think they're gonna be awesome. And we got them in the mail. So I haven't opened them yet. They are from, we're gonna tell you all about them, where they're from. Another country, I'm not sure. Customs. Customs. There's a customs declaration. There was have a you ever customs. seen look have, have you ever customs seen ear what a what a, a label from customs looks like? Yeah. That you never kinda weird. Order Airmail. anything from, from you never ordered anything from another country, well that's what it looks like. Uh, uh, we're really not sure what country they're from, but uh, I think it's we're gonna, or something. This is like an unboxing except it's an unbagging because we're gonna it's test not really out the earplugs. So Check it out. It had my name on it and everything. Look, ooh, thank you, thank you. What does that? What does that say? It okay. says thank you. You know why I bought these? Why I, bought, I saw this ad on Facebook. Uh -huh. and I thought, well, yes, I need I need earplugs. And then these are titanium. These suckers are made isolate isolate pro titanium. Dude, these things supposedly, and we're gonna test them today against these uh, fifty cent earplugs. So these are made by who? Flare made by yeah isolate Flare. isolate pro by Flare because it says thank you for your faith in Flare and you know you can return these helping bring isolate to life you know what I don't know about this you you want to know something <clears throat> what what do you, I need to know? I read the policy you can actually return these if you don't open them really what if you open them and they suck well then I guess I mean that's a great return policy that is yeah if you open them you can't return them. Course, well, of course you... they're earplugs. You know, if you've opened them, they've probably been in somebody's ears. So why would you want to return something? You know, so we avoided the return ear. policy just now. Just now avoided the return. It's these stink. I wasted sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Oh, can't you just wad up some toilet paper? I tried. Now here's a little pouch. Comes with a little pouch. Oh wow. Now this is this right here. That's worth probably $60. worth. This was worth about fifty. So. Yeah. Earplugs got to be worth. Even if the I mean, earplugs, this is a little mesh bag right here. Even if they suck, then you know, then we have a isolate foam medium. Ear so here's foam. medium, and here's small. Okay, all right. So these are made out of supposedly. You can go to their website now. In case you're wondering, there are there are two items, two items that Eric is always bound to carry on him. All right, if, yeah, two if I, items. If I had to bet my bottom dollar that he's got these two items in his pockets at any any given time, it would be guitar picks and earplugs. All right. Guitar picks and earplugs. Now <laughs> check this out. All right, so I opened up the little earplug. They're titanium. Check that out, dude. Whoa. That looks so like a... These are actually, yeah. So these are titanium. Look at those. That's, that's pretty amazing. It's a tiny little thing. Yeah. So let's say I'm probably a medium ear, ear hole. Let's open up the medium foams. You're you're gonna be so jealous. I'm gonna get you some. For oh Christmas. yeah, this is this is what I want for Christmas. This is what? Yeah, well, you know, I could have used earplugs when you put off that bomb bag, dude. Well, that's true. That's true. So I guess you just stick this. Well, there were directions. Okay, so what do you think about this? You just stick this on there. Well, I don't know. We haven't tried them. Pinch and roll. Oh, these are just like old school pinch and roll the tip. Pinch and roll the thing. They want you to cram them that far in your ear. Are they crazy? Well, I mean, if they've got to work, then. All right, so let me stick it. this one. We'll stick this in my ear, and then we'll we'll see. Because who who knows? It says leave no gap. Okay, that one I got on there. This one I went on crooked. Oh crap! So we're gonna test this with a chainsaw in your ear. Or... Yeah. Do you have something to test it with? What are you gonna test it with? I'm gonna clap really loud, or I'm gonna shout right into your ear. All right, shout right. In I'm gonna my scream ear. into your ear as loud as I possibly can. Well, supposedly, and I'll tell you later, these are kind of like, I mean, these are kind of big, dude. Look at that. Okay, so now I got the little bulb on there. I mean, now we've been to rock concerts with just the little, you know, squishy ones, yeah, like, here's like the, the ones squishy you've ones. got there. Yeah. And those are just, um, these, you know, these old school earplugs, you just, you just kind of like roll them in your fingers like a booger. <laughs> and then you These stick have them the same ear. booger roller on them too. You just roll them up like this and stick them in your ear. I don't think that's going to be. My ears are way too big. All right, I'm going for the small ones. So, you know, 
What do you think is gonna fit you? The... I don't know. What What do you guys think? Would you? Who would? Who would buy? A... Well, they don't know what size your ears are, but these are huge. These suckers are say medium. They're huge. I hate to see the big ones. You know what? You're not supposed to do. I got a little trivia for you. Ear trivia. You're not supposed to stick uh, anything in your ears, especially that's not a... smaller than your elbow. <laughs> but can I stick my elbow in your ear? Are you kidding? Doesn't fit. Are you kidding? <clears throat> the, the, this is just the smallest little goofy thing, and it says leave no gap. So I'm trying to shove these on here, but so far, so far, I don't know. Um, so far. All right, so get them on there. Is that, is that how it goes? Yeah, but that's kind of weird. I'm going to stick these in here. They look like bullets. They do look like bullets, yeah. They look like bullets. So supposedly this metal technology is supposed to, I don't know, like... How do you know it's not just going to blow up in your ear? It could be a trick. I don't know. It could be some kind of ISIS thing. It could be. I don't know. These hard don't even fit my ears, really. We'll give it a try. What's the just... thing? Okay, roll up, pull the top of the ear backwards to open the ear canal, and push tip deep inside the ear. Create a perfect seal for maximum isolating comfort. To replace tips, grip slightly, then twist and pull off the... Do what to your ear? Pull the top Would of your you ear up. The... Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, they want you to cram them in there. All right. All right. You got it in? Not, I don't know. All right, it's in. Can you hear anything? I can hear everything. I I can hear everything. Uh, I can hear. What, can you hear anything? Yeah, I can hear everything. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> These things are amazing. Look. This ah! one, this one. <laughs> Ah! This guy. It works. It works. I think you think you gotta cram them in there. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta like cram them in there. All right. So okay. is it in? All right. Just smack my head or something. Ah! I don't know. They. I guess they work. You know what? Could, could you hear that? You know what I'm thinking? I usually use these. These little things. Okay. So so how well did that work? I don't know. I gotta go to a rock concert. I mean, could could you hear? I, I I could hear, but the thing is, is they they claim that these earplugs will like totally knock out all the bait, all the you know, like because they're made out of metal. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I believe these people. I'm gonna come back and tell you. I think I think I'm gonna have to go to like a really big venue and like stand like right in front of the speakers, or I'm gonna go across the hall and when that band starts playing, and I'm gonna say like I'm gonna walk in and tell them. Yeah, we got a band airplane. that plays right here in our our studio. We actually have a building that we you know use for our studio and there's a band that plays here sometimes so maybe we'll just go in there and yeah and try them out but for now i think i need to go do like a real rock concert and then i'll let you know so we but can't give okay. so you cannot give a I, I, definite yes or no on these things you know what i can right give now. you right now is these things are I, I mean i'm like a pretty big dude and i had to use the very smallest piece of ear foam. So if you're little, I don't think these would work. Like my wife's ears, there's no way they would go in there, dude. She's got little tiny ears. There's no way. Yeah. If you're a little person or you have little ears, there's no way that this is going to fit in your in your head. That's what I can say. So look, I still like these guys, but Well, tell them about the mystery box. We need to we we're we're All right, wrapping so up. we want you to buy a mystery box. So first of all, I want to tell you that uh, you need to like this video, share this video, comment on this video. Let us know what you think about earplugs and so on and so forth. Yeah, go. Definitely subscribe to our channel. And if you don't have one of these, this, oh, it's upside down. That's better. <laughs> this is our fascinatingly random box of mystery. You need to have one. Find it on our website, fascinatingworldofrandom.com. Don't gum. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, too, and share it with your friends. All right, we're out. Bye.